Focus trees are the worst mechanics ever introduced to any of the Paradox games. There, I said it. So, no doubt such a statement will trigger a lot of people who by now are used to playing with focus trees. But in this video I'm going to break down the focus tree mechanic and explain exactly why I think it's such a bad idea and how, maybe, it could be improved. Remember that this is just my opinion, you may have your own view on this subject and it is totally fine for us to agree, disagree or partially agree. The first major issue I have with focus trees is that they're basically a waiting mechanic. And while this isn't true for all the focuses in Hardfire 4, it is true for the majority of them. So how does this work? You open a focus tree, you start one of them, and what it essentially tells you is you have to wait X days to get a reward. So in its most basic level, the focus trees are a time-killing device. To make the player wait and pass the time in the game while well, it moves forward. Why would a game need a time-killing mechanic? Well, maybe it's there to make up for the fact that it doesn't have any other significant mechanics for the player to kill time with. And sadly, this was very true for the first version of Hearthstone 4. Today, the situation is a bit better, since we do have the espionage mechanic, at least for those of us who bought La Resistance. But for the others, there isn't that much to do besides sit and wait for your focuses to finish. And the mechanic that is built solely for the purpose of wasting your time to cover up for the fact that the game has no decent mechanics to do that organically is a bad mechanic. Focus trees force the player to become passive. And while this is a bit better when playing a large country, since you might have other things to do, like manage armies, promote generals, build factories, for smaller nations it just forces you to sit there and wait for the focus to finish. In many cases, the focuses are the only way for the player to move forward and improve his starting position. There is no alternative and no other way for the player to alter his game setting other than passively waiting. So what's wrong with sitting and waiting? I don't know about you, but personally I buy my games to play them. I buy movies and TV shows to sit and watch them. And I don't want to be doing that when I'm playing a game. And if you were to think about the patterns of behavior players have after studying a focus, it is clearly a cry for something to do. After selecting a focus, you are most probably, if you are not at the start of your game, will start to scroll around the map, take a look at a war going on in some other country, start clicking various interface elements even if there is no new information for you there, and just look for something to do. It's the same as opening your fridge, to see what's inside, closing it, then going back to your fridge after 10 minutes, opening it again, and closing it again, even if you know that there is nothing new in there. Now you might say this is true for all Paradox games, and it is true that there are waiting periods in all Paradox games, but Hardware 4 takes that to a new record. The third argument, and the most damaging one, is the fact that focus trees have railroaded the game entirely and as a byproduct have distorted the perception of how a computer game can be played and enjoyed without the guiding hand of the developer telling you we have chosen three paths for you, pick one. The result of that can be seen in the Hardware 4 community today. Some mods that introduce very complex mechanics into the game are deemed worthless and unplayable if countries don't have focus trees. Now it is natural to assume that this might be the case, but the situation is so absurd now that most players who have become too dependent on focus trees won't even bother trying the new mechanics if there is no focus trees while the two may be unrelated at all. And the independent mechanic might be lots of fun even without focus trees. This is a really damaging trend and it is unfortunate to see Paradox increasing the reliance of players on focus trees instead of reducing their role in the game, with meaningful and engaging mechanics that could turn the passive players into proactive players. So how can this focus tree situation be improved? By now focus trees have become such an integral part of the game that making significant changes to them will require a lot of work and guts. Stellaris is a perfect example for a game that isn't afraid to rework its core mechanics 
from the ground up if the need to do that becomes evident. And this approach seems to be paying off. So while it can be a risky move, it can also improve the game significantly. So I'm not calling for the complete removal of focus trees from the game, but for a reduction in the dependence on them. Here are a couple of ways to do that. Introduce dedicated political mechanics into the game. Focus trees deal a lot with internal politics, and at the same time they do a million of other things. Giving you factories, political power, new templates, improved tech research. By introducing dedicated political mechanics into the game, that portion can be taken out of the focus trees and be a proactive system that the players can engage with constantly instead of sitting and waiting. Reduce the time it takes to finish focuses. Some focuses have really long timers, which forces you to sit around for a long time and wait, just to get that extra research bonus or political power. By reducing the time it takes to do these focuses, the game can become faster and the player can move on to the next focus. Improve the AI. It is no secret that focus trees are also a tool to cover up for some of the flaws with the AI. It is much easier to railroad the AI into how it should respond rather than develop complex algorithms for it to figure out the best way to deal with certain situations that aren't pre-scripted. Alright, so that is my take on focus trees. What do you think about focus trees? Is it a mechanic you love and just can't see yourself playing without? Would you like to see it in other Paradox games as well? Or do you also think that it should be scaled down? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, leave a like for the algorithm and subscribe to be notified of future rents. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.